Welcome to my coffee channel. This week I'm going to be reviewing a coffee from the UK. Uh, many of you might be familiar with it. It is from Square Mile Coffee Roasters. And if you know Square Mile Coffee Roasters, that's uh, owned by uh, James Hoffman. And I am reviewing uh, Square Mile's it's a sweet shop seasonal espresso. This is probably one of the best coffees, at least on price, that they have. I think I paid 25 euros, which I think comes out to maybe $30 for a 12 ounce bag. So, uh, but this is supposed to be one of their best. So, uh, and it's an espresso. So, I want to see if it's any competition. Well, that Clash World's Best Espresso or that JVC Ethiopian I rated or reviewed the other day, which was 96. So uh, this might be the best coffee in the world. We don't know yet. We're going to find out. Anyway, I'm going to cup it. Uh, I'm going to analyze it. I'm going to pull shots. I'm going to brew it. And I'm going to score it on my SEA cupping sheets. And I'm going to let you know how good it is or not. Anyway, okay, let's see what we got. Anyway, this Sweet Shop Espresso is made up of uh, two types of Ethiopian beans. I'm sure they're all natural. Unwashed. Smells really yummy. Let's see what it looks like. Two pea berries. Uh, Looks like they were probably two separate roasts blended together. Looks like one slightly lighter than the other one. A lot of pea berries in here. And it looks like a relatively very light roast. I'm going to analyze them in a minute and uh, pull some shots and rate it. And I'm going to let you know what I think. Be right back. Welcome back. I've been cupping, analyzing, brewing this uh, Sweet Shop Espresso from Square Mile for the last hour. And I have to tell you, this is the uh, sweetest, sweetest, fruitiest uh, uh, espresso coffee I've ever had. It's, uh, if you're into a fruity coffee, this is just brilliant. It's uh, mar marvelous. Nice balance, nice acidity. It has uh, flavors of mango, strawberry, cinnamon, uh, rhubarb. It's like a cornucopia of uh, fruit in your mouth. Anyway, just to give you some of my preliminary findings, uh, on the uh, roast right analysis, uh, it got a 62 on the outside skin. But what was amazing was it was an 83 on the grind, which makes this an extremely light roasted coffee, which is what it needs to be to bring out all these fruity flavors. And uh, it was probably, I'm going to say, it's probably a very quick, short roast coffee going, you know, with a 20 point difference. That kind of means that it was roasted kind of fast with the, uh, even the, uh, Outside is a lot darker than the inside, so it was a very fast roasted coffee. And it was so good, I have decided to uh, make some cold brew. Anyway, that will be ready tomorrow. And I will give you, I'm going to make some cappuccinos next. And I'm going to give you my full uh, cupping results. And uh, let you know what I think of this coffee. But so far, it's looking really, really good. I can only say one thing is extremely fruity. This could be a world champion espresso, only if it had a little more acidity. If I, if it was me, I would blend in uh, maybe 10 or 15% of a worst Brazilian or maybe a really high quality Robusta, maybe 10%, to give it a little more sharper edge. But that's for American tastes. Uh, maybe Europeans like it, but it's still lacking that really sort of sharp edge that I like when I blend it in milk. But anyway, 
I'm gonna give you my full results tomorrow and I'll be right back. Welcome back. I have been drinking this uh, sweet shop uh, espresso from Square Mile for the last two days and it's been one of my best experiences so far. It's a great coffee. It makes an excellent cappuccino. Very sweet, very fruity, nice balance, nice mouthful makes a uh, excellent cold brew very fruity very sweet i uh, love it the only thing i didn't love is i could say is wouldn't be the price but uh hey gotta pay the price if you want the best so anyway this is a really really good coffee very funny you know the one thing i can say about this coffee particularly the cold brew when you have uh all natural processed coffees they sometimes have a little mustiness to the taste and this coffee i am not getting any sort of must it is not just pure fruity flavors sweetness very excellent so anyway let me it, i would say this is an almost perfect gold medal coffee but i have to say almost which i already said before for it to be a perfect gold medal, golden bean, world's best espresso, I would probably need it needs a little more acidity, a little more mouthful, which I think you would gain by uh, adding a worst Brazilian or a really nice uh, high quality Robusta to it a little bit. Maybe just 10, maybe 15, 20% have to experiment. But anyway, let me give you my results. So we had uh, 62 on the uh, analysis, roast rate, 83 ground. Uh, fragrance, 9.75. Hints of strawberry, rhubarb, sweet. On the break in the cup, it was strawberry, mango, cocoa, with hints of cinnamon. And on, okay, on the flavor, 9.75. Sweet mango with strawberries. Excellent on the mouthful. Literally, I said it was a little light on the mouthful, 9.25. Then again, I, as I said on the acidity, a little light on the acidity, I gave it a nine. But it's really, really good. On uh, sweetness, it was very sweet. This is probably the most sweetness I've ever had in a cup of coffee, I think, before. 9.75. Uh, bitterness. Absolutely no bitterness. Gave it a 10 on mouthful. There again, mouthful could have been a little more. Very right, good. 9.5 on the balance. Very well balanced. 9.5. Uh, defects, odors, and taste. I did not detect anything wrong with this coffee, so I gave it a 10. Overall drinkability. 9.75 and my overall score i gave it a 96. so you know you could almost say this is a gold medal contender uh world's best co espresso contender uh like i said with a couple little tweaks i would say it was a for sure winner so anyway that is my review for this week uh if you have not hit that subscribe button yet Please do so if you've gotten any value out of this uh, video. And please hit the like button. It really helps the channel quite a bit. And I will see you next week. Have a great day.